So how is your lengthened journey and lengthened penance so far? Hanging in there? <laughs> I guess for those of us who were here yesterday, you know, with Father Moses sharing in his homily, and we know that we have been proclaiming the gospel and even with this part of Jeremiah's book, that we were grateful, the Father was said, that the Lord was so brave, you know, in spite of the oppositions, to really declare you know, himself who he is. And with that words taken also from the Old Testament, I am, but he went on to say, I am with you to reassure us. And that's the first point you know, that I would like to, to share, especially in the context also of Jeremiah and probably with our Lenten observance, Lenten penance, you know, that as we are getting closer to the Holy Week, the intensity supposedly of our observance and intent to be faithful, to really be in the grace of God these days and not to fall into sin, especially with our desire and effort to really be strong and remain firm to be in the grace of God. However, the truth is, it's not just during this Lent event. It's basically a day-to-day -day fight and battle in our life. And the second point, really, which I will now continue, the declaration of the Lord, that if you are not convinced with my words, at least with my works. works. And it may be a cliche, but we usually say, action speaks louder than words. And that's what we are trying to do you know, as a testament of our sincerity, as a testament of our commitment with our faith and in, with our relationship with the Lord, that more than words, it's really about deeds. And we pray to the Lord for that. <clears throat> and the third point that I found interesting really in the Gospel, that would somehow and hopefully help us in spite again of the struggles and fights and battles, no? the spiritual battles to be in the grace of God, is this detail in the last part of the Gospel, which says, He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized. And where he was supposed in the final stages before his eventual entrance to Jerusalem and he would get arrested you know, and offered himself in sacrifice and suffered and eventually died on the cross. But he spent some time to go back to Jordan where it all started. It began the inauguration of who he is with the baptism made by John the Baptist but with the descent of the Holy Spirit in the form of the dove and the confirmation by the voice of the Father. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. pleased. And that's very important because he goes back to where he started, the very core of who he is. And that's very important in our spiritual life that no matter what, what no matter we where we are what we are going through with the ups and downs the struggles and fights but we always go back to who we are I am a child of God 
I am of Christ and the Lord would always be with me. That's who I am. And I guess and I would like to believe that will give us so much strength not only in this season of land but all the days of our life no matter what. Amen. Amen.